let's talk about Capitol Hill now. Democrats are taking another bite at the health care apple this week, but their attempt to force through another contraceptive mandate just weeks after the Supreme Court ruled on the issue failed in the Senate. Is it just about politics? Here's what Harry Reid said after the vote. Democrats believe that five men on the Supreme Court should not be allowed to deny American women access to critical health care like contraception. I understand Republicans want to run and hide from this issue, and I can't blame them for that. But we're not going to let them sweep this under the rug. We are going to vote again on this issue before this year is out. Well, here for a debate on that is Allison Howard with Concerned Women for America and also Democratic strategist Alexis McGill Johnson. Thank you, ladies, both for coming in. Alexis, uh, let me start with you. So Democrats have this piece of legislation that would require employers to provide this coverage, a mandate, essentially. That failed. It didn't have the vote. So now what? Well, look, I'd argue it didn't fail. What it did was actually put everyone on record. It didn't record. have the votes to get through. It didn't pass. The, leg the legislation didn't pass. However, it did create the opportunity for every elected in that in that that chamber to go on record as to whether or not they were pro-women's health or, or anti-women's health. And I think that's really what this is about. This is about getting to 2014, getting, getting to these midterms, and being able to say, you know, to, to it, the electorate. It sounds like it's about politics, because it it's is, unfair to say that you're either for women's health or against women's well, health clearly. if you don't support this employer-type mm -hmm. mandate. Right. So Republicans on the other side, they pass their own, uh, are, are pushing their own legislation that says that no employer can block access to women's contraceptives. So mm -hmm. that's pretty clear where Republicans stand on things. Right. Well, it's beyond politics here. When you're talking pro-woman, you have to be talking about these pro-woman business owners that filed against the HHS mandate because they felt like their religious and moral convictions were under attack and thankfully the Supreme Court stood up and said you know what you did go too far here in forcing employers to cover what they believe are abortion inducing drugs this is a win for everybody if they can force you to provide drugs today that are against your religious beliefs even those who care about access to abortion should see this as a win you know the government shouldn't be able to force you to pay for things or, uh, that you religiously object to all right um, so Democrats always talk about a woman's right to choose, right? And a choice being the most important thing. There's a new Department of Labor regulation that's actually retroactive to July the 1st, and it basically requires companies to notify its employees if free contraception is offered. So therefore, a woman could choose to work or not to work at that company. Do you have a yeah, problem with that? Yeah, I do, because it's not like jo like jobs are growing on trees. You know, we want to protect people. I mean, that's the ultimate who, choice, isn't it? No, but people, yeah, I think that, that, that would be a choice if that were a real choice. That's such a false choice. I mean, I think women are, particularly in a lot of these companies, they are working in minimum wage jobs. There are a lot of things, you know, birth control actually is quite expensive. When you look at some of the, the medically proven, long-acting, uh, reversible contraception, mm -hmm. like an IUD, which was uh, was the subject of the, of the Hobby Lobby. Yeah, do women care about it? It is actually, it is, it is, it is, it's such an we're important not talking about birth control. Oh, that's again false. We're, we're talking, talking about, about abortion inducing and drugs. And mm -hmm. it's unfair for women that know better to go and say this is an attack on birth control. This was about abortion inducing it drugs. The women I work with do know the difference between I'm not paying for it and you can't have it. Okay, let me bring up another angle here because we could we could argue on and on and on about this, but I do want our viewers to hear about this. A Democratic congresswoman from California uh, recently tweeted out this picture, and it's comparing this entire debate to Boko Haram, you know, the group that's taken all those young girls mm -hmm. hostage. We still haven't seen, from, seen them, uh, hundreds of them. She said, societies prosper when women are well-educated and can access reproductive health care. It's time to bring back our girls. Ladies, is this the kind of dialogue we need to be having? Is this helpful? Look, I think the, of course, they're not the exact same thing. I think the underlying outrage, though, that in 2014 in Nigeria, women are still being denied access to basic education. In 2014, we're still debating whether or not contraception should be covered. Wait, you're insurance. connecting Boko Haram I'm terrorists. not connecting them. To I'm saying there is an underlying outrage. There's them. an underlying outrage about the lack of progress for That's women that we are right going backwards. Is she right or wrong? We around? are going backwards. And, and to make decisions that, that are not backwards. based on medical proven science as opposed to people's just you know you know belief that is actually Terrible. not Bodies work. Okay, ladies, is, is I a don't think we're going to have to leave it there. Horrifying. This uh, debate will not end. And of course, we'd love to know what you think about this. Allison and Alexis, thanks for coming in and have a terrific Sunday. <laughs> All right. Well, this one sounds crazy. A guy teaching his five-year-old son to wrestle an alligator. Oh boy, the father and his son. They will join us live to explain why it is all in the family.
And just how easy is it to sneak into the United States? All you need is a jet ski. You see that right there? We've got some exclusive new video that Fox just obtained. You have to see it to believe it. We'll be right back. To where the boat leaves from, it takes away all of your big problems. You could worry, you could drop them in the blue ocean. But you gotta get away to where the boat leaves, Jimmy.